in today's machine learning class we will see uh, what is machine learning uh, that will come under first unit introduction to machine learning and uh, in this class we will discuss how do machines learn and what are the three phases of machine learning that is data input abstraction and generalization what is machine learning machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence here uh, in this diagram you can see artificial intelligence is a very big domain here we just to try to create a machine that will do or think like human right so this is a program with the ability to learn from reason like human right so when come to machine learning this is actually subfield of artificial intelligence okay that is a part of artificial intelligence otherwise here the machine to learn from past data or experience without being explicitly programmed so without being explicitly programmed the machine tries to learn okay from the data from the available data right and the machine learning uses statistical technique okay how the data is being used here to learning by using statistical technique the computer tries to learn and make decisions this is important okay so for learning the statistical techniques are very important and this may be the prerequisite here and it is predicted on the idea that the computer can learn from data the data may be present or past present or past data and spot patterns patterns means the patterns of data and make judgment make judgment means this is decision with a little assistance from humans with a little assistance from human the machine tries to learn the data identify the pattern and make decisions and next let us see how the machine learning programming is different from traditional programming okay when come to traditional programming here uh, we have to give the input and the program to our machine then it will do all computations then we will get the output that is we have to feed input and this will be processed then from the machine we will get output isn't it so this is what traditional programming right when come to machine learning here we have to feed the input data as well as the output data here the input data will be the sample sample input data and correct that should be correct or error free data as well as we have to give the output also output for this input program uh, for this input right that both should be given to machine learning okay and during the learning phase it will learn for what type of input what type of output need to be produced accordingly it will give the program so here the program is nothing but the algorithm and next time we can use this algorithm the same algorithm and here we can give huge volume of input data like this pattern and we will get the corresponding output right the definition of machine learning by tom nickel okay here the computer program is said to learn from experience e with respect to class of task okay with respect to some class of task t and performance measure e okay here if its performance at task t as measured by p improves with experience e okay that is a computer program is said to learn from experience learn from experience that means it is able to gather experience by doing certain task so if we do certain task then it will get some experience okay and if it perform the same task again and again its performance will get increased in future okay so and here the past experience what is past experience means 
the past data related to same task okay for the same task which data we are using and this data may be coming from different source okay so this is called as past experience that means we are going to do the same task with the some data which is coming from different source so this is what machine learning and here the machine learning will be divided into three parts first one is input data here uh, the data input otherwise okay the data may be a past data or the present information that is taken from current state current state okay so the data may be a past data or present data which is used for future decision making this is important okay so this is the input data first phase right when come to second one abstraction here the input data is represented in border way okay so very huge volume very huge volume of data is there and that will be given to abstraction here the abstraction will extract only the required data required data in required format by using some algorithm by using some algorithm so this is called as abstraction okay and the third one is generalization this is the third one when come to generalization this abstracted data will be used to for decision making right and this is the detailed version of our previous diagram this is our previous diagram okay uh, here uh, we are having both new input data and training data that is the past data so both the data will be given to machine learning algorithm here this portion is the abstraction as well as the generalization okay so the data will be given to uh, machine learning algorithm so the train machine learning algorithm will learn from the data and it will produce model input data and that model will be given to machine learning algorithm okay so this up to this portion is abstraction right so this abstracted data is used for prediction right so whether this prediction is succeeded then we will give we will get the successful model otherwise again it will go to train the machine learning algorithm with the, the past data or with the new data again the process will be uh, continued until we will get the successful model the data input here the data may be gathered from the environment by using sensors right or otherwise the data may be a past data which is stored in data uh, that is data set okay from the data set we can gather the data or from the environment we can take the current data right here uh, a better learning strategy need to be adopted because the data volume is very huge data volume is very huge because through sensors the data will be keep on observing from the environment right uh, the first one is to be able to deal with vastness of subject matter vastness of subject matters here vastness means very huge volume and related issues in memorizing it okay all those data should be stored in our database and that to be answer questions where direct answers has not been learned okay so we don't know the direct answer hence how to be answer uh, for the given question right so these two things are very important the machine how to learn okay so to figure out these things the key points are ideas okay ideas are gathered from past pool of knowledge here the knowledge is nothing but the data data will become information okay so
so from the pool of information we have to gather the key points or ideas okay and this helps in creating an outline of topic okay from this idea we need to figure out the outline of topic and a conceptual mapping of those outline okay and with the entire knowledge pool okay from the huge volume of data or information we need to figure out what is the outline of the data the next one is abstraction okay here uh, during the machine learning process knowledge is fed from input data that is the input input data is given to abstraction isn't it so the input data may be a huge volume of data and this may be a raw data through sensors it can be directly taken from the environment or from the past data whatever it may be but the input data may be the raw data we cannot use the raw data as it is here hence the pre processing is important pre processing is important here okay that is the data cannot be used in the original shape or form hence the pre processing is important and the abstraction the pre processed data only given to abstraction then the abstraction helps in driving conceptual map between the input data okay so it will identify the pattern pattern of data okay by implementing conceptual map and this map or model is known as machine learning paradigm okay that is identifying the pattern is nothing but the conceptual map and this is called as machine learning that is the summarized knowledge representation of raw data is called as abstraction this newly predicted model may be any one of the following form it may be a conceptual block like if else rules okay it will produce if else rules or it may be a mathematical equations or it may be a specific data structure like tree or graph structure or it may be a logical grouping of similar observations Uh, these uh, four choices of model are used to, to solve a specific learning problem okay so based on the problem we need to select the required choice for doing the decision making for doing decision making here some of the uh, models are listed here the first one is type of problem to be solved accordingly we need to select the choice okay what type of problem we are going to solve now it may be a forecast or prediction or analysis of trend the current trend or understanding the different segments or group of objects different segments or group of objects this may be the first type of solving and when come to second type the nature of input data so based on the nature of input data also we can select the choice of model it may be the data may be a complete data or it may be a error data okay that is two type of data we are having present data which is taken from sensors from the environment directly and past data from data set okay and based on the data and based on the data type also we can pick the choices and third one is domain of problem so which particular domain we are going to use uh, this data right Uh, it may be a critical domain with high rate of input data right which needs to take immediate decision making so in this situation the data should be a pre processed error free data okay for example fraud fraud detection problem in banking domain and etc the next one is generalization so in the abstraction process or training the model abstraction is nothing but training the model training the model which is used for 
abstract the knowledge which comes as input data in the form of model ok. So, from the input data the model will be trained that is uh, the data will be trained and we will get model. This particular model is given to generalization right that is abstracted knowledge. Abstracted knowledge will be given to generalization here these abstracted knowledge are used for future decision making ok. So, in the generalization decision making will be taken place. decision making ok. So, the model is trained based on finite set of data which may process limited set of characteristics which may process limited set of characteristics ok. So, finite set of data is here and characteristics will be imposed to the data then we will get model and now we need to apply this model to take decisions on a set of unknown data a set of unknown data. So, finally, we will get model this model need to be tested by using a new set of data ok. A new set of model is new set of data is used to, to test the model then only we can identify whether our model is working correctly or not right. So, in that situation we will face some problems let us see what are the problem we are going to face. While testing the model we will face two problems the first one is the trained model is aligned with training data too much ok that is the model is model which is generated from training data ok the model is actually generated from training data and this is very much suitable for only this training data and hence uh, may not properly suited for actual trend. Now, if we want to test the data, test the model with the new data, ok, sometimes it may not be suitable for this, ok. So, this is the first problem and when come to second problem, the test data have sometimes certain characteristics are unknown, ok, because this is the new data, this is not pre-processed data. this is not pre-processed data. So, certain characteristics sometimes may not be known properly ok uh, when compared to training data. Here the training data is pre-processed and, and error free data because the model is generated only from the training data and it suppose sometimes cannot be suitable for the new testing data. Hence, decision making will take some problem otherwise we can take some wrong decisions. Uh, so far we have seen what is machine learning uh, from first unit and uh, we have seen how do the machines learn and what are the difference between traditional uh, programming and machine learning programming and after that we have seen the three different phases of machine learning first one is data input abstraction and generalization. In the next class we will see another important topic from first unit. Thank you.